Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode. This is episode number 36 and today we have two games, one against Barcelona and one against Real Madrid in La Liga and also the Copa del Rey quarterfinal second leg away at the Bernabeu in a fully live episode. I just, I don't know why, I just really like doing these full live episodes for you and I thought since there are two massive games in today's episode, why not do another one? So yeah, today's so we'll be fully live and I really really hope you guys enjoy this now as we're just getting into the first game today's episode I do want to say real briefly uh, first of all thank you for the support on the series so far but as FIFA 17 is coming out in just a couple of weeks time I am contemplating probably making this the second but also final season of this series I plan to do at least three but I don't think we'll be able to finish three so because of that I think I'll probably make this one the final one uh, d despite what happens this season I don't know whether we will be able to win the league title. Today's game will be a big indication uh, whether we can or not, um, or the Copa del Rey, or the Europa League. But do you know what? Whatever happens, happens. We'll just call this one our final season as we prepare for FIFA 17. Uh, also, one thing to point out as well, if you haven't seen it already, I have got a video up on my channel right now where you guys can vote for the FIFA 17 career mode team. Do make sure you check it out if you can. So, first game, you have to take on Barcelona away from over the Bernabeu. Uh, sorry, the Bernabeu, the new Camp. Come on, Real Vallecano. Let's get a big, big win. And a massive result here. Now, of course, we only played Barcelona a couple episodes ago, but now we're playing them again. And in this game, if they do beat us, they will take over as league leaders. And it could be through already. And they were, but Kepa makes a really good save. So we we lost against them at the Estadio de Vallecas. And again, coming to the, uh, to the new camp here, not feeling too confident as they have the first couple of chances of the game. I can tell right from the first minute that we put us under pressure because they want to lead the league come the end of 90 minutes. Not a good start, but it is still goalless. So we've won ourselves an early corner, 10 minutes in, and a chance for us here is Adam will take this one. They've left Camarasa free on the edge of the area, so you know what time it is. It's time to drill it to him. Oh, it's Sevelos, actually Sevelos, not Camarasa. Even better, Sevelos goes for goal. Oh, good save by Claudio Bravo, who turns it behind for a corner. And again, the they've left a lot of space between Sevalos and the next Barcelona player but this time I'm not going to do it I'm going to float it into the centre instead Adama takes the corner and Perez could be there and is and heads the ball just over the bar so a couple of early chances each for either side but unfortunately it is still nil-nil I don't think we'll get too many here at the new Camp and those chances were very very decent indeed Perez wins the ball back here and has a man with him and it's Danny Sevlos down the left hand side with the fake shot, gets inside the area, Sevlos tries to drill it in, taken down and the referee I think gives a penalty and he does and we've won ourselves a spot kick 20 minutes in, Sergio Busquets with no complaints whatsoever, Sevlos beat his man, went down the left hand side, I tried to drill in across and Busquets takes him down when sliding in, I couldn't see whether he got contact with the ball or just with the man, I guess we'll have to wait and see on the replay this is going to be a hard angle to see it from no he doesn't take any of the ball but does swipe the man and I think the referees called that one right so penalty to Rayo Vallecano Busquets gives it away and what an opportunity for Ayosa Perez to score his first goal back from injury here at the new Camp and give us the lead away at Barcelona top right is where I'm going can Perez find a back in the net yes he can and it is 1-0 to Rayo Vallecano Vallecano and what a start 23 minutes in we're away at the new Camp we lost at the Estadio de Vallecas against these guys but we take the lead here on a massive night in the title race Perez converts the penalty that Sebelos won and we lead by a goal that's a poor pass by Iniesta and Alba just about won it back to bail him out there as he plays it inside towards Suarez. Nice little pass through towards Busquets. Great ball through. And Messi is in to make it 1-1. And just a few minutes after conceding, Barcelona are back on level terms. Iniesta almost gave the ball away as I tried to go on a break with Adama. But after Suarez found his man, it was a brilliant ball through towards Messi. And what a finish by one of the world's best players on the weaker right foot in off the underside of the bar. It is a fantastic... Fantastic finish by the Barcelona legend and the number 10 puts Barcelona back on level terms. They were behind for just a few minutes and now it's Barcelona 1, Rayo Vallecano 1. 
Oh, lost out towards Jordi Alba here, down the left-hand side for Barcelona, who cuts inside, still the left-back on the ball, goes for goal. Oh, I don't believe it, Barcelona have turned the game on its head in 10 minutes and have taken the lead for the first time through Jordi Alba. And oh my word, what has happened there? Alba took it around his man and went for goal. I, I tried to clear it with Lopez, couldn't do it. And as he cut past his man to shoot, I mean, Kepa's a brilliant goalkeeper, but... That looks like a real howler for me. He turns it onto the post and into his own goal. He should be saving that. I mean, that's awful. That's really poor goalkeeping. As that is near post, his positioning was good, but his dive was going back into his own goal. What was he doing? Jordi Alba with a goal. It's, it's my fault for giving the ball away first. I just didn't really uh, manage to release it on time, but I cannot believe my goalkeeper has not saved that one. I really can't. Very, very poor, I feel, but uh, I'll still take the blame regardless. Barcelona 2, Rayo Vallecano 1, and we were in front, we were in front 10 minutes ago, how quickly football can change. It's Lopez through towards Adama, down the right side here, Alba will come across and shut down our right winger, and I tried to take it round Alba and did they, got a little bit lucky, but that's okay, man didn't want to lunge in, and the header by Lopez is saved by Claudio Bravo, there was a man that came towards Adama, didn't want to make the tackle as he was inside the area and see a second penalty given away, and Lopez's header saved by Bravo, there'll be chances for us to get back on level terms, but if we get a good one like that one, we need to make sure we take it. Faria with a touch, helps it on towards Boehner and a chance on the break here. Boehner on the ball, back towards Faria. He's got a dammer in space, out wide. This is a good chance here. Adam's got lots of pace. He should be having enough to beat PK. He cuts inside. It's a dammer. He goes for goal. It's straight down the throat of Claudio Bravo. Suarez gets away from his man and holds it up and finds Iniesta and a chance here for Barca on the break as he releases Turan down left hand side and Matt comes across, Turan cuts inside, back towards Iniesta, 3-1 to Barcelona and that is the game, we lost by this scoreline at the Estadio de Vallecas and it looks like we'll lose by this scoreline at the new camp as well, we've had a couple of good chances in this second half but the finishing's been poor, I knew for sure that once Barcelona get one opportunity they will take it and they have on the break to ram back towards Iniesta he took his time picked his spot found the back of the net and will deliver the three points to Barcelona game over Here's Boehner through towards Camaras. and a good ball through towards Perez here. And Matthew let him run across him. And Perez is through, surely to make it 3-2. And Bravo makes the save. I don't believe it. I told myself I get chances. I've got to take him. And that was the one. Matthew allowed Perez to get the run on him. And Bravo makes the save. And if there was any chance of us getting back in this game later on, it hinged on us converting that one-on-one -on -one chance. I messed it up. Poor, poor finish straight at the, uh, well, the body, really, of the Chilean goalkeeper. And Barca still lead by two. And that will do it then. Final score is Barcelona 3. Rayo Vallecano won and unfortunately we do defeat, uh, sorry, we do defeat, we do taste defeat against Barcelona for the second time in a row, both by the same scoreline. There were chances in this one for us, but I didn't take them. Barcelona were clinical, we weren't, that was the problem. And in the end, I think they deserve all three points as well. So it's all over. We are no longer league leaders anymore. That feels absolutely awful. If you take a look at the stats as well, as you can see, Barcelona did deserve to win this game, but we actually played okay as well. You know, we played all right, and I think that had we taken the chances we got, we would have, uh, you know, left here with something, but that's that's my fault, really, for some very poor finishing. And that Perez incident towards the end summed it up, really. He's just not the same striker this year. He's just not the same striker he was last year. But anyway, man, the match me probably would go to Jordi Alba, who I thought was sensational for Barcelona all game long defensively solid as a rock some really important tackles and also scored their second goal as well and uh, moment of match not not entirely sure to be honest probably probably the, uh, the sensational Messi goal that got them back on level terms a really lovely uh, work passing move and a brilliant finish by Messi and once that goal getter went in it was one of those where you know once they got one you thought they probably had two three or possibly four or five as well but in the end it, just, just the three goals for Barcelona today just the three goals but uh, 
uh, either way, a sensational uh, performance really. And again, I think they did, they did indeed deserve all three points. So yes, we are no longer leading the league then. It lasted for so many in-game weeks, but it is over now. We have dropped down to third place, I think it is, after that very hurtful defeat to Barcelona. And I just noticed a bid here for Exeberia, our right back, but we are gonna turn this down. It's from Dortmund. But we're going to keep him here. We've got such a thin squad with Rayo. That's one of our real big problems. He's going to stay. And hopefully some more news on Moreno very soon. I want to make this signing in today's episode. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? Because Moreno has once again declined his contract. I can't believe this. I really, really can't. For goodness sake, Alberto, come back to Spain. Why don't you want to sign for me? Third time he's declined his contract. Says he loves living here. I don't know what else to offer him. I really don't. I've gone up to 20 uh, percent clean cheat bonus, three year length, crucial first team player status. That's all good. Uh, 80 grand a week is what I offered him last time. I don't have to go up to 90 grand a week for Christ's sake. This is Alberto Moreno. I mean, honestly, I'm offering the guy an escape route, but he's saying no, he'd rather stay in Liverpool. Honestly. Um, I mean, seriously, that's that's what I'll offer. And I'm. Um, uh, do I want to go up to 90 grand a week? I just, because if he declines it one more, I think that's it. I think if he declines it once more, he's going to say, do you know what, forget that, I'm not interested, I'm staying here in England. So I'm going to go up to 90 grand a week and just say, you know, come on, just just come and join us. Because this is, this is absurd now, seriously. I don't know why he doesn't want to sign for us. We were leading the league until the last game, for God's sake. So anyway, another new contract. Come on, Moreno, for Christ's sake, come to Rayo Vallecano. I really do feel like it's all falling apart you know seriously selling Bangura behind our back that's what the board did and with the Nacho situation as well I couldn't agree to get him to sign a new contract and he left and then started saying how I didn't want him which is completely untrue and libelous and it's like you know everything's falling apart we have such a small squad here we just can't cope at the moment we really can't we need we need some good fortune we need some good luck and maybe in this game we'll get it because we take on Real Madrid for the uh, second game of today's episode here. Oh, where's the tumble ball? Is it because I'm not connected to the EA server? So I have to go with this one, Derby Star. No, let's go with someone else. Um, let's go to Puma one. Um, yeah, we take a round you for the second game of today's episode here at the Bernabeu for the Copa del Rey quarterfinal second leg. We lost the first leg by two goals to one. I don't want to have three defeats in a row, but that is looking quite likely unless we can pull off a shocking result here. I will be resting the entire side for this game just because we can't afford to keep on playing the usual first 11 all the time because they'll get very, very tired. So this is the team for the game. Can we get something? Well, I'm not fancying my chances, but you never know. Come on, Rayo. Let's get a massive, massive result here. That's a poor pass by Ronaldo and Mbaba cuts it out. Mayer out helps it on towards Josebed. He's got options out wide here. Mbaba on the ball through towards Mayer out against his former club. Comes inside. Mayer out still gets a shot away and finds the back of the net. Get in. Borja Mayer out opens the scoring and makes it Real Madrid nil. Rayo Vallecano won as the former Real Madrid striker. Scores against his former club and his former ground. It was a quick little breakaway down the left-hand side there. And after Mbaba gave it to him, he Still a lot of work to do, but he got round Ramos, got a shot away, and found the back of the net. Real Madrid nil, Rayo Vallecano won. We're back on level terms on aggregate, lead on the night, but we still need to score another goal, of course, due to the away goal ruling. But what a fantastic start. 1-0 to the away side. Brilliant stuff. Here's Rodriguez through towards Benzema. And a shot by Ronaldo comes in. And that's just over the bar from Ronnie trying to redeem himself after being the one that gave the ball away in the build-up to our goal. But he couldn't keep the shot down there. And we still do lead by the one goal to nil. As Josebed finds Leiva here and a great chance as Josebed is through. And he's got a man through. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, no, no, no. Oh, that pass was behind him, Barbara. It wasn't supposed to be, but he still got a shot away. But Navas made the save anyway. What a stop that was by the Costa Rican. And he keeps Real Madrid on aggregate, tied at 2 2. What a fantastic save there. Oh, Marcelo loses out towards Leiva and a chance here as he'll play it through towards Josebed, who's inside to shoot. And oh, my word, he puts it way wide of the post I completely messed up the finish there I had the chance but could not hit the target we've had good opportunities in this first half to find a second goal but we just lead by one but I've been very encouraged by what has been a very good first half 
Vasquez is throws cut out by Mbaba and he finds Josebed here with the fake shot through towards Mayoral. What a chance here, Mayoral! What a finish by Borja Mayoral! And we lead on aggregate by three goals to two. And it's Borja Mayoral starting ahead of Kanate because he's in form in this competition and he's doing it once again. Real Madrid nil, Rayo Vallecano two, and our backup side lead by a double at the burn about they gave the ball away from the throw in a quick little fake shot on a brilliant through ball and Borja Mayoral took his chance brilliantly as he finesses the ball in at the near post Navas is beaten and I've got to say we are full value for this two goal lead what a fantastic first half and we played so well in the first leg as well didn't deserve to lose that game in my opinion and we may be getting what we deserved in the second leg Mayoral's got another it's two to Rayo what an extraordinary first half. Can we hang on to this two-goal lead going into half-time? Corner for Real Madrid. Rodriguez takes it. Cissé's there to head it away. Only as far as Carvajal, though, and it will drop towards Modric. Back towards Danny Carvajal. Oh, onto the roof of the net, whistling over the bar and behind for a goal kick. But what a first half, though. The Real Madrid fans are stunned, but those fans aren't. They're leading by two goals. They see their team up by a brace. Thanks to that man, Mayor Rao with the brace. Fantastic first half. We lead by two. What an incredible story this will be. Oh, Varane in trouble, he's lost out towards Mbaba, and what a chance here, Mbaba on the ball, helps it on towards Mayoral, surely, he's through one and one and he finishes it again, I don't believe it, Real Madrid nil, Rayo Vallecano three, and this is a backup side here in the Bernabeu, and Mayoral has scored a hat-trick against his former club, they gave the ball away, Mbaba ran free, he held the ball up, Ramos came across, and look at the time, and space for Mayoral, out. There's no round with your defender back. It's an easy finish, but we don't care. It's Free for Rayo, and now Real Madrid have to score three goals themselves as we lead on the away goal ruling. This is an unbelievable turn up, and probably the one of the most surprising results I've had in this year's FIFA. And I'm saving one of the best till last. Unbelievable free to Rayo. What a performance! Here's Rodriguez sprinting down the right-hand side for Real Madrid. Whips it across to the far post. What a ball. And Ronaldo is denied by a brilliant save by Fabricio. That was the combination for their winning goal at the Estadio de Vallecas. Rodriguez deep cross to Ronaldo. But this time Fabricio got there. And isn't that ironic? Well, not ironic, but just the perfect way to happen. The perfect thing to happen as soon as I say those words. It was always going to happen. I say Fabricio got there. And then from the corner, he doesn't. Rodriguez floats it in to the centre, Fabricio comes out to punch it away, gets nowhere near it and it's a goal for Danilo and Real Madrid with 10 minutes to go have scored a goal which probably won't matter, they need to score another two in the next 10 minutes but they've got one back and can they get another two where well, you wouldn't put it past them, we'll have to be careful now, Real Madrid 1, Rayo Vallecano 3. And there it is, final score here at the Bernabeu, Real Madrid 1, Rayo Vallecano 3 in one of the most surprising results of the series, no doubt about that. We've beaten our rivals away from home with a backup side. Unbelievable stuff. I did not think we were going to get through this tie at all when it was drawn, especially not after the first leg. But in the second leg, it's all about that guy, Borja Mayoral, claiming the match ball as his hat trick ensures that we somehow make it through to the Copa del Rey semi finals. Who would have thought that would have happened after the first leg? Not me, but him. I thought it was a really balanced game over the course of 90 minutes. Round you did have two more shots than us, but we had one more on target. And I felt as though a draw in this game would have been even really. But after our first leg loss, where we played really well, I feel as though we deserved a bit of a rub of the green in this game. And uh, for Mayor Al, well, what a fantastic performance. A hat-trick against his former club. I do believe that's the first hat-trick of the season. Fantastic performance. Unbelievable, really. And it just came out of nowhere. Not sure which for of his goals I preferred the most I thought they were all pretty decent um, but I liked the first goal when he cut inside from the left after we won the ball back after Ronaldo's poor pass and a really good finish sandwiched in between Sergio Ramos and Danny Carvajal still managed to get a shot away and also find the back of the net as well so three good finishes from Mayoral three goals and a hat-trick for him against his former club as we make it through to the Copa del Rey semi-finals I did not think I would be saying that after the 
tie was drawn and especially after the first leg as well. But football's funny like that. We've made it through. What a performance, what a result. One of my best of few is 16 and we're into the semi-finals. And that will in today's episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode as well, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's episode, then please do leave a like. Likes, of course, much appreciated. And it really helped the channel stay alive as well. Much love to you all. Have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you for the next episode in the Rayo Vallecano career mode very soon.